Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman, and I'm the founder and director of Goldman & Associates. Uh, our firm specializes in family law in, uh, we have some specialties in criminal work and negligence uh, injury work. Uh, so therefore, if you have any questions or you want to find out information about those areas of law, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we got a question from our viewing audience, which uh, reads, can I leave the state with my child if I'm not married to the other parent? Well, the answer is you can always leave the state with your child. It's just a question of what role the court is going to play in that request. If you have full legal and full physical custody of your child, then it's so much easier to leave the state. You still have to advise the court, you still have to file a motion and ask the court for permission. But if you have full legal and full physical custody, it's almost a pro forma thing. The court is going to realize that you get the right to make that choice and therefore will more than likely grant that petition without much resistance. If on the other hand, though not married to the spouse, you share custody, legal custody, physical custody, there's some joint situation. Maybe you have full custody, but you share uh, legal custody, though you have full physical, then you're going to have to file a motion. You're going to have to get the court uh, to weigh in on that. The court's going to have to make a decision. And to make that decision, the court's going to have to make findings that it's in the best interest of the child to leave the state, that it's in the best interest of the child to modify the uh, what's going on right now in the way of parenting time to change it to accommodate a parent who lives out of state. So uh, to do that, obviously, the court is going to have to have a hearing and make uh, f appropriate findings of fact in that regard. Uh, if you have that going on, obviously, it's a, a complicated issue. You're going to have to have a brief file that cross-references the various competing uh, uh, custodial environments. It's going to have to show the difference between, for example, the crime rates in one place versus the other state, the housing that's available, the socializing that's available, the school systems, how do they compare? When we file these motions, where we ask the court to allow us to change the domicile of the kid, this is not a one-pager that we check boxes off. This is an inch thick motion with giving all the court the data and all the reason to grant that petition. If you have questions about that, call us now and we'll be glad to help you out.